In this video, we put kitchen myths to the test using the principles of food science. Today, we're dissecting the science of searing and the one fact that changes everything. The first myth, searing meat, seals in the juices. The scientific fact, searing does not lock in moisture. It's a chemical reaction called the Maillard reaction that creates a flavorful crust. The moisture loss is primarily dependent on the final internal temperature of the meat. A common culinary belief is that searing meat at a high temperature seals in the juices. This, however, is a widespread misconception. The intense heat of a sear does not create an impenetrable barrier. In fact, a seared piece of meat will lose just as much, or even slightly more, moisture as one that is not seared, due to the rapid contraction of muscle fibers. The true purpose of searing is to facilitate the Maillard reaction, a complex series of chemical changes between amino acids and reducing sugars that creates the deep, savory flavors and rich brown color we associate with well-cooked meat. Myth 2. Salting beans during cooking makes them tough. The scientific fact. Salting beans actually helps to tenderize them. The sodium ions in the salt water replace some of the calcium and magnesium ions in the bean skins, which are what keep the skins firm. This results in a creamier, more tender bean. Many recipes advise against salting beans until the end of the cooking process under the assumption that salt toughens their skins. This is a myth. The opposite is true. Adding salt early in the cooking process actually aids in tenderization. The salt works on the pectin in the bean skins. Sodium ions from the salt displace calcium and magnesium ions that harden the cell walls, allowing water to penetrate more easily. This molecular exchange results in a more uniformly cooked, tender bean with intact skins. Myth 3. Adding oil to pasta water prevents the pasta from sticking. The scientific fact. Oil and water do not mix. Any oil added will simply float on the surface of the water, and when the pasta is drained, the oil will rinse off. The real solution is to use enough water, stir the pasta in the first few minutes of cooking, and, most importantly, the starch in the cooking water is what creates a powerful emulsifier that helps sauces cling to the pasta. Myth 4. You should always use cold water for cooking, as hot water contains impurities. The scientific fact. While it's true that hot water from a tap can dissolve more impurities from pipes than cold water, for general cooking applications like boiling, this difference is usually insignificant. The main reason to use cold water is for recipes where the cooking process needs to be slow and even such as making stock or boiling eggs from a cold start. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment.